Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinhole lens with a Coke can. Oh, hey, hey everyone. Uh, Sean here with photodeox.com. I'm just drinking some delicious uh, sugar-free Coke. And uh, the other day I was drinking one of these and I thought, wow, this is shaped almost exactly like a lens. And I've made pinhole lenses with lots of weird things before, so I thought, why not try a Coke can? Let me show you how I went from this to this. Now we're using a mini soda can for this build, but a normal soda can will work too. Start by removing the top of the can. Once you have the top removed, clean out the can so it's no longer sticky inside. Use some tape to cover up the sharp edges on the top. Next, you're gonna need a sewing needle to make the pinhole on the bottom of the can. Once you have the pinhole made, it's time to add the can to a lens adapter so we can mount it on a camera. I'm mounting it to a Sony camera, so I'm using our Photodeox Leica M to Sony E adapter. Make sure the can is lined up properly and use tape to tape it to the adapter. Now we just mount it to our Sony camera and it's ready to use. Now the first thing I noticed right away with this pinhole build is how crazy the flare is. There's this weird silver reflection shape thing going on in the middle of the footage. It's in every single shot. And if you point it at a light source, you actually get some weird animation on the flare. And that's because I left the interior of the can completely reflective. So when the light goes through the pinhole, it's actually bouncing around in the can and creating this weird effect. Now this is a pretty cool effect, but it is fairly limiting. Uh, you can really only do one thing with it. And if you want slightly more normal pinhole footage, even though pinhole footage isn't really normal at all, uh, you're not gonna want this. And it's a pretty easy fix. I just disassembled the pinhole, took some gaffer tape and taped up the inside of the can so it's not reflective anymore. And as you can see with this footage, with the interior taped up, we don't have hardly any of that reflection. There's a little bit, but not much. And it does create much nicer pinhole video. Now, one of the downsides with using the full can is you are getting kind of a telephoto effect. Uh, you are zoomed in on your subject and you can get some pretty shaky footage and you can't really shoot any wide angle stuff. It is much more cropped in, but there is a simple way to fix this and get a wider image. And I'm gonna show you that right now. To create a pinhole with a wider field of view, we're just gonna need it much closer to the center. So I took a pair of scissors and cut the bottom of the can off where the pinhole is, and then I just re-taped it to the adapter. Now the can pinhole is much closer to the center, giving us a wider field of view. Not only is this version of the Coke can pinhole camera wider, sharper, and more compact, uh, but you also get a really interesting reflective vignette effect. And I think it's because I left the interior on this setup reflective, so we got some light bouncing around in there. Plus, because we've got this indented bottom of the can and it's all reflective as well, I think the light is bouncing on the inside here and it's creating that soft vignette. And you get some pretty wild flares when you point this directly at a light source. Now, if I had to choose between these two setups, as much as I love having a full Coke can on the front of my Sony camera, I actually prefer this more compact setup. It's wider, it's sharper, and I get some interesting reflection effects on the edges without spoiling the center of the image. But the fun thing about making lenses out of Coke cans is you've got plenty to work with and you can experiment to your heart's content for a very low price. Just grab a 12 pack of soda, some sewing pins and tape, and you are on your way to create some interesting pinhole lenses. If you have any questions about anything I didn't explain well or bungled in today's video, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also, click the link in the description below to check out all of the gear we sell here at Photo Deox, including this Prismo stick. This is amazing RGB wand light that I've been using to add color to my scene. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more crazy DIY videos like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have fun turning soda cans into lenses.